Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 6 of Forza Motorsport. In this episode, we are taking the APR Celica that I won last episode, and we are going to be going racing on another point-to-point, -point as per expected, as I said. And we are going to be doing the front-engine, front-wheel drive event. Open the cars with the front-wheel drive, front-engine configuration. First place receives the Toyota Border MR2 Turbo T-Bar, which is just like a tuner version of the MR2. So, we are going to be racing on this track for the first time, which is known as Pacific Shipyards, is the other actual night racing wall. This, uh, Sunset Peninsula Oval, and Tokyo are the only night racing tracks in this game. So we get to see yet another one here, and you can tell uh, my, my, my previously used cars are very interesting. I'm not sure how I got such a fast time over everything else with the Mini Cooper, but whatever. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are at Pacific Shipyards for our first race. And basically, um, there's only two actual tracks to Pacific Shipyards, and it's the actual same track. It's just one track, but reverse and also forward. So it's not incredibly exciting, but whatever. Oh. Don't cut corners too sharp, either. That's a thing that you should not do. <laughs> not good at all. Right, let's try this again. I'm racing against an Acura CL and a Honda Accord. I see another Celica back there, pretty far. This track is a pain in the ass not to damage your car on. It's actually really hard. It's been a while since I've been on this track, so that probably won't help. This car looks so fucking wide, too, and I love it. It looks so goddamn stupid. Okay, we're gonna go 30, 39 seconds into the first race. There's where my thumbnail opportunity is. And you get penalties for going too close to the inside on that corner, I guess? It's fucking silly. It's like, that's the obvious better fucking way to take that turn, so you should nor naturally go that way. But no, the game's like, nope, you get a penalty. Also, this car is a supercharger, random note. <laughs> that's how it makes a decent amount of power, is that it's fucking supercharged. It's not even turbocharged. You would expect it to be turbo, but no. But whatever, it's a, it's a hella fast car. Like, it handles fantastic, I have to say. It doesn't have too much power either. Because they could have put a lot more power in this, but like it would have been a lot more uncontrollable and a lot dumber to drive. And around this section... Ow! Which reminds me of uh, Special State Route 5 in Gran Turismo. The fucking tunnel you go through in that track. As I mentioned, it's very hard to not damage your car on this, for whatever reason. It's very technical, and uh, there's a lot of shit where you don't expect it. There's like not like obvious corners of the or obvious edges of the track. You have to kind of guess. But it's a neat track overall. I really do enjoy it. It'd be kind of cool if they brought this back too. It'd be cool to see this on like a next gen console. Well, not next gen, but. Whatever the fuck current gen is. <laughs> now. It's like the Xbox One X. Speaking of which, make this game backwards compatible. I would probably let's play through it again if it were backwards compatible on Xbox One. Because it would look so fucking fantastic. But I doubt that'll happen anytime soon. And plus the next time that they're gonna release games that are backwards compatible is like spring of next year. So we have quite the time to wait, sadly. And our total winnings are 5,500 credits. I've reached level 10. Ooh, I got a Mustang. You have a relationship with the North American manufacturers Ford and Panos. There are new cars available in the dealerships. In addition, Ford has sent me a 2005 Mustang GT. That's actually pretty nice. That'll be that'll come in useful for uh, something in the future, I'm sure. Cool. 
this was a brand new car this the time this game came out. At the time that this game came out, there we go. That's English. Alright, what's your wisdom today? Try professional events. I haven't launched professional events. Oh yeah, also new events unlock the higher level you get, like Forza 2. These events are more tightly restricted. Da -da 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 -da. So on and so forth. Alright, let's continue on. We are going to Pacific Shipyard 2, which as I mentioned is basically just the reverse of what we just did. And so here we are on Pacific Shipyards 2. Which, speaking of which, I just realized I could have watched people sma smash into each other at the end of the ra last race. Because they do that- oh, fucker. Because they do that a lot uh, when they when this is the end, where we just started. So, aka the other, uh, the other direction. When you go that way, they crash into each other a lot after the finish line. There we go. That's how you fucking speak English, maybe. It's pretty entertaining to watch. Especially when you get faster cars. Because they'll make it almost to the fucking wall. And then stop. And then the next car will come along and just smash it. Fucking so hard. And it's fantastic. To watch. I think this way it doesn't... You can't see it. On that way you can actually see it, which is surprising. That's like the only track... Or the... Pretty sure that is the only... Uh, only track end that you can see them smashing each other. If I remember right. Ah, balls. Ow. It kind of hurt. What did he say? Second Avenue. I never actually paid attention to what those signs said. Interestingly enough. Under the bridge where we just went over, which is pretty neat. Yeah, the, like this track is laid out cool too. You go under stuff, you go, you know, you crisscross a couple times or one time. You go in this little industrial area back here, off of the road. I'm pretty sure the road is what you get back on up here whenever you make the right after this. And you get a penalty because I want to take the inside line. 4.0 seconds, goddamn. And then you gotta watch out here because there's trucks in the way. Right behind is 6.3 seconds behind. And now comes the hard part of the track, which is not fucking turning into early like I usually do. Just so gotta make sure you, you take the corners nice and easy, go around them correctly, and you should be good. Just like that. And one more turn. I'm gonna spin around just to see if, uh... Oh yeah, you can't see it from this way. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch cars smash into me. In a second, when they get here. And there's an Acura. And smash and smash! <laughs> oh my god! They pushed me like 30 feet, what the fuck? Mazda 3, Ford Focus is gonna... Uh, nope, not quite. Let's see, what's next? Civic SI hatchback. Which doesn't run anything. Oh, the Celica VVTI did. The fucking slow ass Celica that's in this game for whatever reason. Alright, so that was Pacific Shipyards and also the front wheel drive point to point event. We received the Toyota Border MR2 Turbo T Bar. Seems to be a, uh, a trend of getting tuned cars whenever you do point-to-point -point races. And then the ra other races are just normal, like, normal versions of cars. So we got that. We'll be using it in the next episode. So, after this loads... Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Forza Motorsport. I'll leave it on this for the last few minutes, or for the last few seconds of the episode. Thank you for watching, and I'm out of here. See ya.